everybody, this is Praxis, and check it out back here. This is the top of the root cellar, and it's really all starting to grow in nicely. I'm going to let all these weeds, people call them weeds, but a lot of this is wild edible plants, useful plants and things, but weeds are things that grow really fast, and I'm letting them grow really fast because the more this area gets covered up, the more it's going to shade it from the sun, the cooler it'll keep it, and the cooler it'll keep the root cellar down below. But what I love about it is it's really growing in really, really well. And check this out. I've, uh, these are pretty rare around here. This is a type of clover, but it's got like a crimson, crimson color. We've got white clover around here that are pretty pl plentiful. There's kind of like a purpley pink clover that's pretty plentiful. And, uh, and these uh, crimson ones, really nice. The bear attack hasn't been repeated. This is the uh, roof on the top of it, temporary roof. Looks like it's starting to poke through. A little there, I can address that later on. We're getting some rain in tonight. This isn't where, we work, or where we're working today though. I just wanted to kind of show you guys how this is all growing in and I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Uh, working in here today, uh, we're still working on the chicken coop uh, inside the house, but uh, I want to install something in here which I think is kind of neat and thought I'd bring you guys in with me to see this. So uh, these are the the shelves, if this is a root cellar, or the uh, uh, bunks, if it is a fallout shelter. And what I'm installing are these little things, little piece of, well, maybe that's 3 8 inch plywood with this little uh, wedge stuck to the back of it. Um, that's 3 quarter inch boards just glued on there. And they are for holding a reading light. I want to be able to uh, have reading lights on each of these, and this is going to get screwed not here in the back, I'm just demoing it right here uh, for ease of uh, visit, visualizing it. This is going to get screwed on to the back post, and then these will clip on so we can have a reading light on the inside. So I just got a couple of uh, one and a quarter inch uh, screws here. This is just drywall screws, but they're going to work fine for this. And I'm going to run this all the way to the back. I think I'm going to put it right at the top. Screw it in, and we'll see how it looks. All right, and this is going to clip right to it, like that. And can I, well, let's undo the twist tie here, just to kind of demo how it's going to work. Now, there's a lot of twists in this twist ties. They, were, they weren't messing around when they... They twist tied that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of camera roll just because of this wire. Okay, here we go. And I believe this needs to gotta turn on that strip. Alright. There we go. It's got two different color temperatures, blue or warm. I like warm. But this is plenty of room, uh, light to read by down here, or you can kind of reflect it up. Instead of shooting it right down at your book. You can shoot it upwards and it'll bounce off of this under area uh, to the bottom of the bed above and give kind of a nice soft light. Uh, that's called bounce light in cinematography and it's uh, sometimes a little less harsh for your eyes, a little more pleasing, it kind of fills everything. So if I, if I uh, wanted to read right here instead of pointing the lamp directly at my book, I could point it at this big white wall. It would make a big illuminated spot on the wall and it would make a lot of soft light to read by. It's just, sometimes it can be a little more pleasant. So uh, I've got one for there, uh, one for this uh, second bunk, and one for the third bunk up top. Incidentally, I should just mention uh, why did I take a corner off of these? It seems like you know uh, these clips would clip on just fine, whether that corner was nipped off or not. The reason that the corner was nipped off is just is just some scrap plywood. As a matter of fact, it was some of the scrap left over from this um, uh, bellows that I created, and some of the scrap. Um, was where I cut out the circle of the uh, the radius corners, and it, it, it kind of came down there and, and did that. So they, I just kind of worked with it and made them all so that they had that. Uh, these two naturally did, and the other one I just made to match because that's the way I roll. That's it. Thanks for watching.